I've got 10,000 plus friends online who know everything about me. My birthday, how I celebrated them, the vacations I took, and all the happy moments I share online. The joys of my life are all online. But when I'm sad and depressed, unlike other countries, I don't put it online. Why? Maybe because I don't trust these friends too much. Maybe because I don't know how many of them are truly available when I need them the most. But more importantly, because I don't want my friends to know there is anything wrong with my life. I want my life to be perfect for everyone else. A new study concludes that there's a casual link between social media and negative effects of our well-being, primarily depression and loneliness. Depression is a huge topic and I cannot complete that in this video. But what I can do is share with you a few symptoms for you to identify and if possible, prevent depression from happening. Let's get started. We don't talk about it as much as we talk about other diseases, but you'll be shocked to know that there are 300 million people worldwide suffering from depression. India is the most depressed country in the world, it seems. So what causes depression? If you Google it, you will find a lot of research papers that basically tell you from the scientific community, they tell you that depression is basically a chemical imbalance in our brain. But as a common person, how do you and I recognize depression before it hits us? How do we recognize if we are susceptible to depression? Depression could be a result of various events or experiences that are happening in your life over a prolonged period of time. Even such as long-term unemployment, living in an abusive or uncaring relationship, long-term isolation or loneliness, prolonged work stress, to name a few. The premise of depression, to my understanding, lies on two major feelings, blame and guilt. When things don't go the way we want them to, we tend to blame someone or something for it. Blame is basically when you detach yourself and externalize the responsibility. Guilt works the other way. You're internalizing the responsibility. The way these two feelings play on your mental health is amazing. When you externalize it, you tend to feel that the others in the world basically failed you. You set expectations and when these are not met, you feel angry and irritated with it. When you internalize it, you're basically blaming yourself for everything, even though it is not in your control. Depression sets in when you're experiencing either of these emotions over a prolonged period of time. Anyways, so no matter what the cause is, you will always find remedies to overcome them. So in order for you to prevent yourself from getting into a depressive feeling, here are a few things that you can try. Number one, find ways to identify and manage your stress. Stress is a direct bearing on depression and I've spoken extensively on this topic. The link to that playlist is somewhere on the screen and in the description below. Number two, take good care of yourself. Get enough sleep, eat well and exercise regularly. Feeling healthy physically automatically influences our mental health. Number three, stay calm. Meditate, deep breathe, say your prayers, whatever works for you. Stay calm as much as possible. Number four, stay connected. Take time out to meet your extended family and friends. No matter how much we are hooked on to our devices, all of us need human interaction. So ensure that you're in touch with all your friends and not just online. Pick up your phone and talk to them. Number five, trust yourself and your decisions. Ensure that the guilt that we have is not taking over your life. The more you learn to trust yourself, the easier it becomes for you to relax into life. Number six, be mindful about what you're thinking and feeling. And by this, I mean notice every single thing that is happening within you. For example, how frequently are you angry or irritated or even sad and the mood swings that you're being experiencing and how long have you been experiencing? Like I always say, only when you know, you'll be able to do something about it. Number seven, get help, even if you think you're remotely depressed. The 
bottom line, depression affects all of us. If we increasingly isolate ourselves from reality, it'll be harder for us to avoid depression. Do you have a story to share of getting over your depression or a story of how you are going through it right now? I'd love to hear from you. You can leave your story, your feedback, or your experience in the comment section below, or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video resourceful, do hit a like button, share it with your friends and those who you think need the most. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel, subscribe and also hit a bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video. And we're talking mental health all this month. My name is Aparna and I'll see you next week. Bye.